So day five breakfast, it's a Saturday and so I wanted to do something a bit more specky, special. I'm, I've gone to have business doing this because I haven't got the kitchen clean yet, but that's all right. We'll work around the mess. Um, so I'm going to do some rainbow French toast and again, taking the rainbow principles, I'll show you what I've got in mind. I'm applying the rainbow principles to the spices that I put in the French toast. So the red is hard, right? So for the red spectrum, I'm using saffron, um, just a couple strands. And um, hopefully that'll be, you know, enough from the red spectrum for that. Um, the orange spectrum, cinnamon and some freshly ground nutmeg. And for the yellow, I'm using some yeast flakes. Um, and, uh, um, there's a book called um, "Oh, How to How to Not Die," and it, the author wrote a book called "How to Not Die." It. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Michael something, I think. But um, and in in that book, he shows some research that yeast flakes, savory yeast, is um, meant to aid with weight loss. So sure I'll throw a bit of that in it's it's a bit like salt it's not um it just tastes a bit fairly salty to me so I'm using that instead of salt this morning then freshly ground ginger the green is also a challenge so what I've done is I got out the mortar and pestle yes I did there's my proof <laughs> and I ground up some fennel seeds I quite like the um I quite like the licorice flavour of fennel and um, it's it's a green spice I can add so that's that's what I've done and then for black spectrum I'm using vanilla um, I scraped a bit out of a ben vanilla bean so I've actually got the seeds but you can see the date on the side of the bottle there for the vanilla bean extract that means I've made it myself so I often buy um, the bottles when, whenever I buy the bottles I save them and then I make I make my own um I don't know if it's cheaper to make your own honestly but oh it's good <laughs> and then I'll top my um that, so my my French toast made from soy and linseed gluten-free bread I've got that soaking there I'll just turn that over while I'm thinking about it so it soaks up all the good eggy goodness Oops, that one's going to break. Use my fingers. There, that's better. Um, yeah, so that's the soy and linseed bread. And then I'll use a bit of butter probably to cook. So I've measured out my butter. And I'll top that with um, some pure maple syrup and some local honey. And... I've also got my my rainbow fruit bowl today is strawberries for the red, um, nectarine for the orange, a um, bit of banana for the yellow, pear for the green and blackberries for the blue to black spectrum. Um, you'll notice, notice the fruit. So I'm not actually using, um, in many cases, whole bits of any more. Um, and that's just a strategy. I'm just going to rinse the egg off my finger. So um, that's just a strategy to keep um, the calorie count and the sugar count, carb count, a bit lower. Um, I'm pretty amazed. Like when I first started doing that, I thought, just eat the whole pear, just eat the whole banana. Um, it'll go brown in the fridge. But um, so I'll give you a couple strategies for it not going brown in the fridge is um, keep the peel on for the banana. So don't just put the banana itself in the fridge. You can just throw bananas in the freezer too. Like they're selling now just banana chips, which are just like cut up bananas. <laughs> and the ingredients is banana. <laughs> so um, those are a bit a bit exy compared to just buying bananas. So, but yeah, you can just throw it in the freezer. Um, but yeah, so banana actually is not as bad as I thought it would. The end may go a little bit brown, but so what? It's just oxidation. Um, the pear, 
Again, leave the seeds if you can. So cut it just shy of the seeds and then leave the seeds bit. And same with the um, nectarine, if you leave the seed in. This is a, a trick we learned years ago from a friend, um, a friend from Mexico who told us, keep the seed in the avocado or in your, if you're making guacamole or pico de gallo or something, you keep the seed in the um, salsa so it doesn't go brown, so the avocado doesn't brown. And so, yeah, I store our avocados and our stone fruit and things like that. If you keep the seed in, it slows down the browning. I think also the, the types that are um, made these days, they've worked out some of these issues. Um, that may or may not be good for us. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, those are my tricks to storing fruit. Um, I'm going to get a move on and cook my breakfast and... I'll show you the end product in a little bit.